In this session, we shall be discussing about the materials that we will be using for constructions of sievers. Materials for sievers. So, from our previous classes, we are very well aware about the term sever now. So, to give a small recap, what is a sever? It is a conduit or a pipe which is used for the conveyance of waste water. So, in a simple term, I can tell it is a point of collection from where it is generated till where it will be disposed. So, from the point of generation, the source of disposal we use sievers for conveying the liquid waste that is arising out from various activities. So now we shall discuss about what are all the different materials that are used for construction of sievers. Prior to that, we shall just understand what are all the factors that are to be considered for selection of the material that we select for sievers. The first factor that has to be considered here is about cost. The cost of the sieve material should be moderate and durable. It should not be too high such that a community cannot afford for that cost in terms of the tax that will be levied on them. Next is the weight of the sieve material. The weight of the sieve material should be such that it should not be a problem during handling, carrying that is for transportation or during its maintenance. The very important factor is the strength. The strength of the sieve material should be such that it should be able to withstand the heavy loads that are subjected on them. That is whatever the load that is imposed on them in terms of heavy transportation or in terms of loads like say for example if it is a railway track then obviously that particular sewer line has to bear that load. So henceforth the strength should be very high. Next is the durability. The sewer material that we select has to be durable. In a sense let us consider we have laid a sewer line and what if that we are supposed to give the repair or in a sense give the maintenance issue for that particular sieber every often then it will be a costlier thing that is we cannot give for the frequent repair or the sieber has to be durable means frequent repair should not be there the next important thing is the imperviousness After the strength and durability, the next important factor that influence for the selection of the sieve material is the imperviousness. For elimination of infiltration and exfiltration, the material that we select has to be impervious in nature. In a sense, that should not give space for the passage of the sewage from the sewer to the groundwater or vice versa. That is, it should not even take the groundwater to entrain into the sewer such that the load on the sewer will be more from the groundwater. The next important thing is that whenever a sewer has to be imposed on any of the line, the next is resistance to abrasion. We know that the sewage that is there in the sewer contains silt and grit. 
those particles are erosive in nature and due to the high velocity that is during the passage that is during the course of passage on the sieve material it causes wear and tear on the material so then it causes the thickness of the material to lessen which in a sense reduces the hydraulic efficiency of that particular material henceforth the material that we select has to be resistant to abrasion next is resistant to corrosion we are very much aware that the sewage will contain many of the acids amongst which the sulfuric acid plays a vital role there because of the evolution of hydrogen sulfide gas which will be intact with the moisture they by creating sulfuric acid which causes corrosion to the material henceforth to avoid the lessening of the life of the material the material or the sieve material that we select has to be resistant to corrosion the next thing is we shall discuss about different types of sieve materials the first material is asbestos cement sieve this is a sieve material made of the combination of asbestos fiber silica and cement so this material will be available in wide length that is it will be available till the length varies greater or equal to 4 meter and it is available in the diameter ranging from 10 cm to 100 cm why is this asbestos cement sieve a important one because it is light in weight which means that we don't have to give much attention to maintenance of sieve because of the easier way in during the transportation or easy during the carriage of that particular sieve material next is this particular material cannot withstand heavy loads as we all know it is lighter in weight of course it cannot withstand heavy loads that will be imposed on them the very important aspect to know about this material is that it is resistant to corrosion means it is susceptible to the acids or salts that are imposed on them means to tell that whatever the salts acids that are generated due to the sewage will be susceptible the next thing is that this material should be resistant to abrasion and corrosion the asbestos cement material is highly susceptible to corrosion because it does not get acted upon by the sulfuric acid that is produced by the action of hydrogen sulfide and methane which in turn produce a sulfuric acid or that does not even get acted upon by the acids other acids and salts that are produced by the sewage other thing is that it is resistant to abrasion we know the sewage will contain grit and sand particles which in turn creates abrasion on the particle thereby reducing the interior surface which in turn lessens the hydraulic efficiency of the sieve so taking on all these together into consideration we shall know about the advantages of selecting this material for sieve pipes the first advantage is that it is easier 
to carry as they are light in weight it is resistant to corrosion and abrasion the cutting and assemblage is easier here this is very important the next advantage is that it is available in various lengths and various diameter moving on to the disadvantages of adopting asbestos as the sewer material we have discussed that it is light in weight but of course the advantage is that it can be carried easily in the same time the disadvantage is that it is i mean the material is brittle in nature brittle in nature that means it requires skill labor for the maintenance next thing is that it cannot be laid underground wherein we expect maximum load that is the load subjected will make the material to break easily if and if at all if it contains the foundation walls above them i mean the foundation walls or if it is laid below a railway line that is it cannot be laid below ground which contains that is below the railway line or beside the foundation walls we shall move on to the next material the next material is the cast iron sewer cast iron used as sewer material so the cast iron is a sewer material which highlights about the word water tight in a sense if and if at all if i using cast iron as a sewer material then there won't be any space for leakage of course this plays a very important role whenever we are opting any sewer material so there won't be leakage next important thing that is of concern to a designer who selects the sewer material is about strength and durability strength and durability if we are selecting cast iron would be very high henceforth we can opt this material without any considerations for cost because it has its own advantages if we are opting this cast iron i'll be discussing it in length now so now let us discuss about what are all the instances wherein we can prefer adopting cast iron as the sewer material the first instance is that during the contamination we can adopt laying the sewer material made of cast iron when there are high chances of contamination for example if and if at all if the sewer that is laid in between the water line then there are high chances of contamination from that particular sewer so what if we select cast iron of course since it is water tight by default then there are very lean chances for leakage over there so then there won't be any chance for contamination from that particular sewer or the material that we have selected so there is no chance for contamination from this sewer on to the ground water 
Next is expensive road surface. Let us consider that the road surface is made of cement concrete. Then of course, whenever there is a chance for the maintenance or whenever there is a chance for rehabilitating that particular sewa material, if and if at all, if the material is not of good strength or durability, say if we have selected something like brick, then there are high chances for frequent repair of that particular sewer. Then we have double cost over there. Even we have the expensive road surface and if and if at all, if we have selected the brick, that gives space for frequent repair over there. So in these instances, we have to select cast iron which does not give space for frequent repairs. Next is weight. Since the cast iron has a very high strength and durability, it has the power to withstand the heavy loads imposed on them. Henceforth, we can select the cast iron as the SIVA material whenever we can expect heavy traffic over there. That means to say that whenever there are high chances of the transportation of heavy vehicles in that particular locality that wherein we have selected the usage of cast iron as the SIVA material. Next is heavy pressure. Whenever the sewage is flowing under heavy pressure, then we can select cast iron as a sewer material because it can withstand heavy internal pressure along with external load imposed on them or external load subjected on that particular material. The next thing is that wet ground. When the selected locality is wet ground, locality in a sense the place wherein we have selected the cast iron sewer material, then if the ground is wet, in order to reduce the infiltration rate or the risk of infiltration in that particular area, we can select cast iron over there. Next is the vibration. Whenever there are high chances of more of the movements and shock loadings over that particular location, then the selection of cast iron is very appropriate there. The next thing is temperature. When there are huge differences in temperature, we can adopt cast iron sewer in that location. The next material is the plain cement concrete. Or reinforced cement concrete. The cement concrete sievers are available in sizes ranging from 0.45 meter up to 1.8 meters if and if at all if it is reinforced. So the important thing that has to be highlighted here is this type of seva material can be made in varying sizes depending upon its strength and durability. The point to be noted here is large size sewer that are available with reinforcement can be prepared locally or precast. That is preparation can be in situ or it can be precasted. But the quality of the sewer material that is precasted is better. So precasted is better. The next important thing is we know that the reinforced cement concrete gives the better performance. So the reinforcement can be of three different types. The first type is 
single cage reinforcement next is double cage reinforcement and the last one is elliptical reinforcement we can just see here the single cage reinforcement can withstand internal pressure up to 0.8 meter so these are the ring so this can bear the internal pressure up to 0.8 meter next one is the double cage reinforcement as the word itself indicates it contains two rings over there as you can see here it can withstand the internal pressure and the external pressure both so it can be more than 0.8 meter you can see here there are two successive rings over there so the next one is the elliptical cage reinforcement this can withstand the pressure greater than 0.8 meter so it can sustain the extended pressure this particular reinforcement can withstand the internal pressure here it can withstand internal and external pressure while in case of elliptical reinforced in case of elliptical reinforcement it can the sieve material can withstand the external pressure greater than 0.8 meter so here what we can observe is we can expect the better performance if we adopt this material for the sieve network so what are all the advantages using upon this material the material is available in varying sizes very important can resist the material can resist corrosion means to say this material is susceptible to corrosion or more easily it cannot be acted upon by any of the salts or acids next is resistant to abrasion as it will be reinforced this material is resistant to abrasion means to say that it can not have much of wear and tear wherein that does not give space for any rough surface in a sense that offers resistance to flow over there the very important is that it can be used for the laying of combined sievers so where in this word combined siever arises here as 
I have said that this is strong and resistant to various activities. So we have understood that combined sewer means it encompasses storm water along with domestic sewage added with industrial sewage. So it is of more load. In that instance, the combined sewer can be prepared or constructed using the reinforced cement concrete. Next advantage is that the reinforced cement material or this SIVA material gives lesser maintenance or cost effectiveness because of its availability in longer lengths. So the cost of joining would lessen here. Next is it is strong in both tension and compression. Okay. Next moving on to disadvantages of adopting reinforced cement concrete as the sewer material. Disadvantage of adopting this material for sewer network. This material is acted upon by corrosion or it is easily attacked by the acid. So it is more prone for corrosion and abrasion also. The next is it is susceptible for corrosion. It is acted upon by various particles that are present in the sewage that is silt or grit. Therefore, the material are more for prone for abrasion. The very important point to be noted using the sewer material is that if we are adopting this cement concrete for laying of the sewer network then there is an advantage which has to be kept in my mind that is whenever we are using this material during the trenching or during digging of a, up of trenches or during the backfilling this does not pose any problem.